authority with him. And there's a picture here. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. Our Mass is in. I'm Father Bill Christie, and I'm the director of Spirit and Campus Ministry and the university chaplain. It's my joy to speak to you today about the upcoming synod within the church, within the Catholic Church. Now, what is this about? The word synod means to journey together, to, to walk together. In 2021, Pope Francis opened a synod, and it was a synod on how we walk together, a synod on synality. And he's asking all around the world for people to speak about how they are heard, how they are listened to, and how they can contribute to the life of the church. A synod on synodality is in a way a meeting about meetings. It's about walking together to discuss how we walk together. It's about who gets listened to, how do we listen, and who gets a voice. Pope Francis is asking all of us to contribute to this so that we might all walk together and that we might all have a voice here at Duquesne University. The Pope is asking everybody to have their voice heard, even people who are not Catholic, even people who might feel that they're outside of the Catholic Church. But as a student here at Duquesne University, a Catholic university, you are walking together with the Catholic Church by being here with us, learning with us, and walking together on our campus. Pope Francis has asked us three basic questions about walking together. The first question is, what does it mean to you to walk together? Secondly, what are the best examples of walking together that we have here in our community? And thirdly, what is the Spirit calling us to? What is the Spirit leading us to in how we walk together as a community? How we listen to one another? how we journey together. Spirit and Campus Ministry is asking everyone to participate. We want to hear your voice. The church wants to hear your voice. Pope Francis has asked 
to hear your voice. So what are you invited to do? You're invited first to respond. If you're invited to come to one of these listening sessions, please respond. Please say yes. Second, prepare. Pray about it. Think about it. Choose the items that you feel most passionately about. And then please, share your voice. Allow us to hear what you're thinking so that we in turn can bring that to the whole church. How is this going to work? After spring break and until Palm Sunday, we're going to have listening sessions. We're asking different people in the university to be the leaders who call groups together so that we might hear your concerns. We might hear how you want to walk together here as a church. Also, campus ministry will be holding general sessions that everyone is welcome to. So please, prepare yourself, pray about it, and then share your ideas. What's going to happen to your ideas? The moderator at every one of the listening sessions will synthesize all the ideas that come in, make a short report, and then submit that to the diocese. The diocese here in Pittsburgh will then synthesize it again and make the report to Pope Francis in Rome. Everyone has a voice.